All right, I am joined uh, by Marcus at JFrog, Senior Director of Solutions Engineering at uh, JFrog. You guys had an announcement today around yeah. MLOps? Yes, we did. Yeah, so we have an exciting announcement around MLOps. And in short, we're supporting Hugging Face mm -hmm. as a repository type. So what is Hugging Face and why would people care about this? So the first thing is when you think about a machine learning team or a team of data scientists, they're pulling together three things. They're pulling together code that runs machine models. They're pulling together models themselves and they're pulling together data sets. What we found is that most people are pulling these data sets from and these models from Hugging Face. So that's why we've announced support for Hugging Face directly so that ML teams can move quickly and use tools that they're already familiar with. So we've already supported Docker for a long time. We've supported Python for a long time. These are really key tools of these ML teams. And now we're supporting Hugging Face. We're bringing it all together. So what I'm showing here is a uh, Jupyter Lab notebook. This is what a lot of ML teams are using to train their models, tune their models, and ultimately build them. So now with just a single line of code, I can point to Artifactory to be the repository that I pull through in order to get all the requirements to run my machine learning. So in this instance, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to pull down this uh, BERT tweet sentiment analysis model. And what happened is it got blocked. And it got blocked because of a license type. Hmm. So we've seen with a lot of the ML models, they're using license types very different than they're not GPL, they're not MIT, they're not Apache licenses. So we found that legal teams and compliance are really worried about the ML models that we're bringing in because these are the keys to the kingdom, right? So that's the first thing is that all the security scanning works for these ML models just like the rest of the package types. The second thing is now I've made it very easy for me to pull all the models through so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna load this model, it's called Owlvit, and it's an image recognition model. So uh, we've had this issue here at JFrog that we have a really nice catered lunch, and sometimes people sneak into our office and they try to get into this catered lunch and, and, and eat it. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I pulled some security cam footage the other day to see if we can figure out Who's a, a JFrog employee, a frog, and who's not a frog? Mm -hmm. And like figure out who shouldn't be in line. So let me load this image here from the camera. <laughs> All right, here's the image. We got some frogs. Maybe if you're human, you can tell who it is, but I'm not sure because everybody's claiming to be a frog. So now I'm gonna run this, this code here, which we should highlight who's a frog and not a frog. <laughs> and here we go. So now we have frogs and one stands out as not a frog. So what did we do here is we pulled all this through JFrog and uh, we're happy to announce we now have an open beta so anybody can come and start testing this out with their own ML teams. So it's now available in SaaS instances, it's in open beta. We support both local and remote hugging face repos. So teams are building their ML models and they want to use the tools that already work for their team. They can share this internally and not worry about risking it to the internet. Uh, we have license scanning, malicious code scanning to start and more to come. So we're super excited about shipping this. Awesome, very cool. Excited to uh, see people use this yeah. and uh, scan for frogs and cats. Yes. <laughs> awesome, thanks Derek. Thanks Boo.